Hey everybody, back again. This is another how-to video, and um, it's also a learning video because this is the first time I've really done this technique. So um, I do have it sped up, but it is still this this video is ten minutes long. So if you're not interested in uh, illustration, landscapes, that type of thing, or technical software stuff, you're gonna get bored. Um, but if you're into it, hang in there. I think it looks pretty cool, and I'm I'm hopeful about this technique. Um, this is a picture that I've taken with the iPhone and what I'm doing is just um, composing, outlining the main shapes of the picture. So here's sort of the tips of the um, grasses there that are yellow and the blue sky. And I'm just doing each of these um, shaped layers is a separate unique layer. So I'm doing some more foreground work here. This is pretty quick, um, <clears throat> quick work, but um, this Adobe Draw program does not have a fill tool, so there's a, a workaround that I found, or a trick that I learned about online. So I'm choosing my color here, and um, the trick is, once you get your color, you essentially double tap within um, an outlined area. So I have my outlined area here. And you're going to see I'm double tapping, um, I'm trying, and it's it's not working right away. Um, so you're going to see it pop in here in a little bit when I do um, get that double tap fill to work. And I've kind of eliminated everything else so I can clearly see what's going on. And all of my little double taps just haven't been working. So a little glitchy, but there it is. And now you do have the black outline around the object as well. So that's something to be dealt with. And um, I'm going to show you later on how we deal with that black outline. In the meantime, I'm still just drawing the shapes in. And I love this workflow because the Adobe Draw program is very basic. You do not have... I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked at how basic it is, but I'm enjoying the, um, learning more and more about it. So here I'm drawing, again, uh, more um, sort of the tops of those flowers there, the tops of those tall grasses. And I'm um, getting ready to break down the uh, mid-ground and background there, actually. Um, so the this grove of trees here is in a bit of a valley. I'm going to get that um, outlined, and then I'm going to pick a new color. Once I get my color, I'm going to double tap. Here you can see these palettes I'm using. The palettes I'm using actually were generated with the Adobe Capture app in the location, on location. So it's kind of cool bringing it all together. And it, this is one of my favorite places in the world. It's just a beautiful park. So here we go. Now I'm working on that sort of field in, in, in the uh, background. And uh, it's going to be covered up by a lot of other things. So it's sort of a unique layer. Um, but right now, um, I'm drawing the layers out and I'm going to rearrange them later. And, and this layer was not, it wasn't double clicking to fill for me. So I just started coloring it in and I realized, hey, that's a good way to get some texture anyway. So I just rearranged the layers there and brought those, those elements, uh, the, brought that mid-ground element a little bit forward. And now I'm doing uh, this grove of trees over here picking colors from my color palette that I used Adobe Capture to create and just filling in. Again, the double tap to fill, it's, it's kind of hit or miss. See there, it worked. But I am um, <clears throat> really digging this workflow because I, I just like the way that these files go into Adobe Illustrator and um, it's not perfect but it's pretty clean and it's fairly easy to work with. So here I think I've got I need just one more layer which is that horizon line of trees in the background and I am doing this, I'm, I'm pretty much throwing this together as fast as I can. Um, so once all the elements come together though um, it's starting to look like a nice composition. And it's a proof of concept that I can go ahead and continue on with this workflow. 
from Adobe Draw into Adobe Illustrator. And what I just did there was send this to um, Adobe Illustrator. And that's where we're going now. And here's the file. So when I look at these objects, um, the fill color is a solid, and then you've got that outline, um, which appears to be a stroke, but it's actually a filled object. So keep that in mind. And it is, um, I, I've had a little bit of trouble working here because these, these paths are compound. So if it looks like I'm just frantically clicking trying to select that black line or that, that outline, that's actually what I'm doing. I'm just double clicking and trying to get into that black there and then changing it um, or deleting it. So I don't want black outlines around all of my objects. There, I got it. So I'm going to continue to do that for these various objects. And there, I just matched the outline with the fill color. So you can see the options for refinement here. Um, working on a desktop, this is actually being done on a laptop, but um, I prefer working on tablets when it comes to the drawing aspect and just getting the um, software to work together has been a bit of a challenge. Um, tablet software is so different from the desktop stuff, so finding, finding software that works together, and of course this is all made by Adobe, it's, um, it's promising for me. So, and it, as you can probably tell from the way I'm working here, I have worked in Illustrator before, so I like taking my files into professional grade software for finishing or for print or <clears throat> whatever it is. And that's exactly what I'm liking about this. And I realize, you know, there's more than one way to get the work done, but this is just something that I've found that's kind of working for me. And um, the more I looked at this, I thought, well, uh, maybe I'll just take it and, and put a gradient in and start showing, you know, different um, levels of, of, of design um, with the landscape features. Gradient's a good, simple way to do that. And um, I'm kind of messing around with my palettes here, trying to find those color libraries that I had. And uh, don't, there they are, color themes. And again, these color themes are coming in automatically from the Adobe Capture program, so pretty sweet how that works and you can see I'm just dragging them on to the gradient slider getting some darker colors for the foreground it looks like I need to actually bring them into my swatches to get them to work and here I'm resetting the gradient just a little bit but you get, you get the idea of, and you can kind of see how gradient can work together with different shades to bring in contour and form. And uh, that's about it. I, I'm going to try to get the sky uh, faded out a little bit too, um, keeping this as simple as possible, yet adding some finesse so that the picture reads really well and has depth. My thought was to actually just create, this is all, this would all just be like a middle layer and then I might do some illustration work on top of this. Um, sort of like black outline work on top of this, but um, kind of developing my own style, but just sharing it as I go along. See what kind of uh, interest I get in the videos, and, you know, I realize they're not uh, professional scripted videos, but I'm just throwing it out there for you, and I really don't care, because I love what I do, and this is the kind of uh, stuff that I could do all day long. There you go. See you next time.